Uh, hello there. Good evening. Uh, tonight, I wanted to bring up some points. Uh, this is fairly obvious stuff to me, but to other people, they just don't want to understand. I mean, okay, like, look at it. You could let the 78-year-old Joe Biden have his bottle, uh, like the baby he is. Um, the thing is, it's quite evident that he did not win. Um, it was seen quickly by the uh, Trump administration's legal department that uh, there was voter fraud. And you might ask yourself, well, when anyone enters uh, an election, they must feel as though they have a chance to win. There's no need to cheat. Well, I supposing that the Democratic Party did not think they could win legitimately, which is what it sounds like. Because if you look at the figures, and I've uh, looked at them, they are quite preposterous. And uh, there are many examples of um, irregularities. And they're very, very easy to spot. And they are suspicious in nature. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone wanted this election to turn out that way, but it's uh, it's gotten a bit nasty because there are people uh, on the opposition party that are, you know, uh, kind of despicable. will do anything. And, um, you know, it's a real sad state of affairs. Um, I mean, Donald Trump is going to prevail. His legal team is far more competent. The only thing Joe Biden can do is the same simplistic rhetoric over and over again. And there are many instances where Biden suppo supporters have been bullying and harassing people. Uh, I know that was a you know uh, an insult that they used against you know uh, the MAGA. Uh, people make America great and, you know, Donald Trump supporters, Trumpers and that and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, the Dems, uh, they've, uh, they've got their nasty people that uh, voted for them as well. And the fact is, uh, the Democrats uh, tried to make this an unfair election. Donald Trump has made it fair. And he is winning. And he is going to win. Um, not exactly the, um, you know, best way of going about doing it. Obviously, you know, free and fair elections um, without all the nastiness would have been better. But, I mean, you take little things into consideration. Joe Biden, in his mind, thinks he's won. So he thinks he's entitled to be involved with briefings and and intelligence gatherings and things like that for some sort of transition. For one thing, the intelligence community of the American people, um, that operates 24-7 regardless of the state of the president. Um, so, no, it won't create this big commotion if Joe Biden hypothetically, had to wait two friggin' months. He, he's trying to run in the door, is what it is. And the reason he's trying to run into the door is because he knows he cheated, and he's hoping that the Trump campaign's legal team doesn't have enough time to prove that, even though they've made great strides in doing so already. Um, and, you know, this has worldwide consequences no matter what happens uh, as a Canadian I am very well aware that a Donald Trump presidency for this particular country is not a good thing uh, because the Americans and the Canadians have had many differences Donald Trump renegotiated the uh, NAFTA uh, there was some steel um, 
you know, uh, tariffs being placed and all that sort of stuff. And Justin Trudeau honestly does not like Donald Trump. But I don't like Justin Trudeau. And there are a lot of parts about Canada I don't like. I like the mountains. I like the rivers. I like the ocean. Um, and, you know, some of the cities have cool names. But other than that, I honestly don't think that much of this country. I don't think it's ran properly. And I have said before, you know, just because other parts of the world are really, really bad, particularly in South America, Asia, Africa, uh, parts of Eastern Europe, yada, 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 that does not mean that a country like Canada is a good one. You're not good by default. And um, that is the bottom line of, um, you know, when you see things from the perspective of what is Justin Trudeau going to look like if Donald Trump gets reelected? He was he couldn't wait to shake Joe Biden's hand and congratulate him and all this and that and the other. If he is wrong, number one, he's going to look like the biggest ass clown in all of the world. Um, second only to Biden. He's going to destroy the Liberal Party because the conservatives will get back in eventually uh, and sooner rather than later. And, you know, maybe it isn't such a bad thing. I mean, I thought highly of Justin Trudeau when he first came in, but after seeing his um, government style for all these years, I really do not like the guy. I admit I didn't know him as well as I should have before uh, Justin Trudeau was elected prime minister, but I had high hopes. And... He let this country down. He's let this country down many times. And people ignore that because his father was a successful prime minister. He has not been a successful prime minister. He has a loyal legion of sycophants. And I know some people will go, Well, you know, you've just been brainwashed. Look at you wearing your Make America Great hat and your Mark Dice t-shirt. And it's like... Well, maybe we all uh, have our influences, except mine happen to be better than yours. Yours are a mental illness. And I say that with full confidence. I mean, you look at what the main stories have been uh, in the last few years, and you honestly tell me that the media is not a mental illness. The media doesn't decide who the president is, and for damn good reason. We can't have people with mental illnesses. They say it's the far left, but, you know, as I have said before, Karl Marx would be spinning in his grave if this was the definition of left uh, today. Um, I don't know what it is. It's an abomination. That's all it is. Um, very few um, charismatic people within, you know, what is supposed to be the left these days. Um, I would like to congratulate the, um, the, uh, Donald Trump legal team because they are proving without a shadow of a doubt that, uh, no, with a shadow of a doubt, no, wait, you know, one of the two, I, I forget now, but, uh, they are proving is what is what I meant to say, uh, that, Yes, the Democrats, they're, they, they, they can't handle it. They don't have a proper response. So they just have to repeat the same messages over and over again because they cannot elaborate into anything more complicated because then people are going to see them for the false image that, uh, that they really are. And it's embarrassing that uh, the election process has turned out this way and people go, well, that's Donald Trump's fault. Actually, no, that's the Democrats' fault because they're incompetent. Um, you know, uh, as 
some of you may have guessed. Um, it's going to upset a lot of people if Donald Trump wins. But uh, to be fair, it doesn't matter what happens, people are going to be mad. And, um, you know, you can either let a fire rage out of control... Or you could poke it with a stick and, and cook some s'mores. What are you going to do? Let it rage out of control or poke it and cook up some s'mores? It's, uh, you know, not a very difficult decision to make. Uh, just don't do it in California because, uh, yeah, it, 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 that'll turn into a disaster. <laughs> the, the wildfires that they had over there um, were not good. Um, yeah, Mother Nature... Uh, very fickle um, thing of the land. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave this at that. Um, full support for a 2020 Donald Trump run. And hopefully he has less nagging problems in his second term than he has during his previous one. Because it's ceaseless they haven't stopped nagging him since he got in even before he got in they were nagging him and nagging him and it's like this isn't cool this isn't what i want to be this has nothing to do with who i am as a person so yeah have a think about it and yeah have a good night